Hello guys, this is Ansab and you are watching Nerdy Ansab YouTube channel. So in this video, we will see how you can do partitions in Ubuntu during its installation. So when you install Ubuntu, you have to do partitions properly. But uh, this is a problem among new users. They don't know how to um, uh, do partitions properly and they install for Ubuntu in just one, uh, uh, one partition. So in this video, we will see how you can do partitions properly and uh, install Ubuntu properly so that uh, uh, you won't uh, uh, get problem after some time of using Ubuntu. So let's see how to do this. After um, uh, proceeding um, to next steps, you will see a screen like this, and uh, here you can see the installation type. So the first option is erase disk and install Ubuntu. When you will choose this option, it will install erase your all uh, programs, documents, photos, music, uh, and any other file and all operating system that is present on your hard disk. So um, I won't recommend uh, using this uh, option. So just click on this something else option and click on continue. From here you can do partitions. So you will see your hard disk here. If you have two hard disk, uh, just uh, choose your hard disk from here and click on new partition table. If you are not seeing any option of free space here, so just continue. So here you will see a space called free space. So this free space means the this is uh, the space which is unlocated, which is not uh, 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 using. <clears throat> that uh, which is not of any use currently so we have to make use of this free space so first click on this plus icon and uh, size here enter something like 500 megabyte 500 MB for our mm, uh, 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 grub bootloader so use as in use as uh, here i'm using virtual machine so i'm not uh, getting that option but uh, you will see an option like uh, efi partition or ufi partition so select that option and uh, this mount to point option will not be visible on on that because we don't need a uh, mount point option in ufi or efi partition because uh, this uh, that partition will use only for a uh, grub bootloader so just click UFI and EFI and then just click OK after that. And uh, <coughs> second, uh, you have to make a swap partition. So there is a rule on creating swap partition. So uh, you have to uh, give half uh, or size of your RAM to swap partition. So if you are having a RAM of like 4 GB, then you have to make swap partition of uh, 2 GB and like um, similarly if you have a ram of 8 gb then swap partition will be of 4 gb but if you are using hibernate function in U ubuntu then there is another m method so for this you have to use size of your ram plus square root of size of your ram so if you are using uh, 16 gb of ram then you have to use 16 gb plus square root of 16 gb that is 4 gb so you have to use 16 gb plus 4 gb that is 20 gb of swap partition if you are not using hibernate function then you can just use half of the size of your ram so i have uh, uh, 4 gb of ram so i will use 2 gb of uh, swap partition so i am not using hibernate function so i will just give half of size of uh, my ram that is uh, 2.5 megabytes about 2.5 gb and type of new partition is primary and uh, you can select beginning of this space the xt4 instead of xt4 you need to select swap area and just click ok <coughs> And you will get the remaining free area and just click on plus and now we have to create a partition for our root folder so first uh, uh, you need to understand how much uh, uh, space we need for our root folder 
so root partition so ubuntu installation will take about 8 gb or like 7 or 8 gb and after that you can just um, install ubuntu in that but uh, if you are using uh, some software so they will also take some space on your root folder so i think a 20 gb of space will be enough for this so you can see 20 gb is about 20480 megabytes so just enter here or if you are sure you are uh, you are going to use space more than this then you will need to enter that um, space here so just enter your size the type of new partition is primary and ext4 general file system and mount point as root and then just click ok and now after this uh, you need to again you need to um, create some partitions for your home folder so just click on free space and click a plus and you can give this entire space to your home folder and just uh, <coughs> use as ext4 and mount po uh, point as home so you can also make different partitions for boot to tmp usr var srv opt usr local but uh, i i think uh, you don't need to create different partition for these because uh, it will include in this root partition but for home you need to create different partition because if in future your uh, system get crashed or uh, you have uh, mistakenly uh, done something wrong with your ubuntu so that your home partition will remain untouched so because in home partition we usually store our personal file documents or photos and media files in this home partition so this that data will remain safe so just uh, make a, a separate partition for this home and after that just um, click ok and you can see here we have a swap area root and home and now um, select from device for bootloader installation and uh, so from here just click this dvsda and your hard disk don't click dvsda 2 sda 3 or efi also just click this uh, dav it will automatically detect efi or ufi um, uefi um, partition and then after that just click install now so after that you will get your ubuntu installation and uh, <coughs> guys if you like this video just give it a big thumbs up share this video with your friends who want to install ubuntu and they don't know how to do partitions properly and also uh, <coughs> subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so bye meet you in next video